project, we are uh, encoding the FPGA using Haskell programming language as well as Flash compiler. The main objective uh, is so that we can code hardware level languages through software level languages using a compiler known as Flash compiler. All the FPGAs are uh, generally encoded using uh, hardware descriptive languages like VHDL, Verilog or System Verilog. There are many flaws in using this approach. There are many uh, variables which we use in our codes, which can be read and written in different loops, which run parallel. Assuming that one loop is uh, running faster and other is uh, running lower, slower, and we are uh, assigning a value in a faster loop and reading it in a slower loop. loop. Uh, when we are reading it, uh, there is a possibility that the value which we are looking for has already been overwritten. So there, uh, these flaws are uh, mitigated by using this approach, which is a functional approach and the functions uh, have only one job to take an input and uh, produce an output. There are no byproducts which are uh, created. This uh, helps us in uh, improving the efficiency also. And uh, overall, uh, it results in less number of logic elements being used in the FPGA. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, encode the FPGA using uh, Clash. So first of all, a student must have uh, installed a Clash compiler in his or her laptop. This is a line follower code, which I am going to uh, compile it into a Verilog code from the Haskell code. So by using a uh, standard command for uh, compiling, we simply compile the Haskell code into the Verilog code. So as soon as the compilation is over, we can see that an extra file uh, folder has been created here in the same uh, directory. We enter it. There is a top entity here. There are various project uh, files which are uh, created. For example, the Verilog file. We have the QSys file. We have the SDC file, which is the design constraint file. We also have a CPP file here. We just need to add the project files now here into the same folder. Now we have to open the project in the Cortex Prime software. Here we have to open the project and then we have to again compile it to obtain the uh, binary files which will be then uploaded into the FPG. And then finally, we have a line follower bot. The bot follows the line on each and every turn uh, because of the uh, line following sensors which are uh, connected to it underneath it. This bot was following the line. That happens because of the line following sensor present here below the caster wheel. We are using three channels of the onboard ADC which senses the uh, values from the arena and if the val uh, the color uh, below the line following uh, sensor is black then we get a higher value and if it is white we get a lower value and according to that we have programmed an algorithm to follow the line efficiently we were able to sense the values we were able to take the values into the fpga but we were not able to store that 12 bit digital data into the buffer to store the values into a register which we were not before and uh, we were using a multiplexer uh, to assign the entire value to uh, a variable uh, function actually so that was the problem and we had to use a register which uh, uh, changes its value or updates itself uh, at a specific time uh, depending upon the clock which we are giving as an input. We had a task in which we had to give an input of a duty cycle which varies from 0 to 100 and according to that we had to give an output of a PWM of a 1 megahertz frequency. We found out a Google group which was initiated by the creator of this language Clash. So we subscribed into it and we were able to see various questions which other researchers had asked and from that we gained a little bit of idea and uh, we further tried the, uh, encoding the PWM and uh, eventually we were successful in it. We also had multiple sessions on what cool projects IIT is working on. Just one of them was Matsya. Uh, Matsya is actually an underwater uh, unmanned vehicle project. So this can be used for uh, navigation purposes to study the uh, floor of the ocean and uh, maybe uh, it can be used for defense purposes also. So now we are also interested to work with Matsya uh, after the Yantra internship like an open source project. So I guess this opportunity doesn't just uh, gives you an internship but gives a broader perspective of what's happening national and internationally.
definitely supports parallelism. It also has high frequencies and completely uh, programmable uh, device. So any kind of PCB or any kind of device can be replicated on an FPGA for testing purposes. The work environment here is such that it motivates you to keep on working. After these seven weeks, when I go back to my college, it won't leave me. Like the motivation to work, the motivation to research on new projects, motivation to learn new things. So this work environment here is also teaches you a lot.